Hey, Eric, how's it going? Hey, Adam, what's up? I'm not gonna throw you a curve with this one. Okay. I brought you the first printed book with American baseball rules. I can promise you it's not a price out of the ballpark. <laughs> Stick with books, stay away from comedy, dude. <laughs> I'm back at the pawn shop today with a fascinating book. It's really like the birth certificate for America's national pastime. I want $6,000 for the book. From my research, maybe only a dozen copies exist of it. It's really cool. It's a cool sports collectible. It's a cool book. It is the first printed rules of American baseball, and it is the first time they ever printed the baseball diamond. All right, cool. I mean, how much do you want for this thing? $6,000 for it. All right, that sounds like I have no idea. Let me have my buddy Jeremy look at it. He deals with a lot of high-end sports stuff. Oh, great. If he's a sports guy, he'll, he'll really appreciate this, I'm sure. You know, I mean, I just don't know anything about it. I've never even heard of the book, mm -hmm. you know? I know exactly what this thing is. This is the first time I've actually had an opportunity to see it in person. This is a truly awesome book in the world of baseball. Wow, it's great to hear. So what, what, what's the book worth? Well, that's the tricky part. I mean... This is kind of a crossover between, you know, sports memorabilia and, you know, the world of, you know, fine books and things like that. So you think I should have, like, Rebecca look at it? Yeah, you're going to want to have uh, Rebecca look at it just because there's so many elements into this that I can't speak about. Okay. Thanks, man. You got it, man. This is a really rare book. This wasn't the first even to have a baseball diamond. It wasn't necessarily the one that talked about baseball, but this is a landmark because it brings all of those things together, specifically from an American perspective. Okay, so what do you think it's worth? These books don't come up that often. In your environment, in a retail environment, I think it's completely justified to say 7,500 to 8,500. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, cool. You're the best. Happy to help. I think that if Rick gets this for a good price, it's a very smart buy. I'm sure that there are collectors who have been looking for it for probably decades. I'm going to throw you a curveball for your 3,500. <laughs> that, that's I'm not you. swinging. <laughs> 3,500. I, I mean, you heard what Rebecca said. It can go up to 7,500. I know, but that's in a retail price here, and you, you understand retail is long and involved. Sure. I don't even want to beat you up this time. So what about 4,500? <sighs> so let's fall in the middle at four grand. And I will be comfortable with that. Four grand. Um, you're fair to me always, I'll do it. Sweet. With the $4,000, I'm going to head back home, relax for a little bit, but it won't be too long before I'm out and about looking for stuff. I will meet you right over there, grab the book, and I'll write you up. Perfect. Slide into home with it. <laughs> Stop, please, dude. Stop. You're just embarrassing yourself. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.